This will be my fourth and final bee, and I've learned a lot from the past bees that I've attended. The first time I stepped up on the national stage in 2014, I was just in shock. He was the youngest semifinalist that year. It was surreal. We were very excited about the whole experience. 2015, I placed the highest I had ever placed in the spelling bee. I placed seven. 2016, uh, Spelling Bee was a bit of a letdown. I ended up dropping 15 places and I placed 22nd, so it wasn't overall a very positive year for me. I can uh, sort of gauge from his body language, the moment he, he reacts very differently if he knows the word or if he doesn't. Salaley. Shalaley? No, Salaley. I knew that I didn't recognize it immediately. When I heard the bell, it was more than anything just a sense of shock. L-E-L-E, Salele. I was so proud when I have started seeing him that he handling himself quite well on the stage. I think I bounced back from that defeat pretty quickly. This entire year has been a lot of review. I've studied new words just to ensure that I've seen every word in the dictionary. I'm also just trying to be more confident in myself because that's something that had been lacking the past three years. Now I realize that everything happens for a reason and if I had made it to the top 10 that year, I may have gotten complacent. Success is not about not having fallen at all, it's about how quickly you rise after a fall. <laughs>